hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new on here this is cuisine du monde a channel where we excite your taste bud today i'm flying you all to the volta region of ghana where i come from and i'm going to show you how i make my okra soup okay but before we get right into it if you haven't subscribed yet kindly subscribe let me know how you feel about this video in the comment section like and also share this video to your loved ones out there okay all right let's get right into the video in my pot right here i have my washed cow foot or locally called kotoje i'll then go ahead and season it with my adobo and some salt then i'll add in enough water and then cook it with my pressure cooker you know this yet yeah, yeah it's all about soft life so anything soft life dear yeah, Charlie I'm in for it I don't want to waste much time in the kitchen but if you don't have pressure cooker kindly cook it the normal way on your stove it's just going to take a longer time but that's fine I'll then cook it till it is half done because there are other meats that I want to add to it so at this point it is half done I'm going to go ahead and throw in my tribe or what we call towel my goat meat and sambuweli or pomo then I'll add in my spices which I've already blended I blended onion garlic and ginger give it a very good stir then I cook it till it is all done So now while our meat is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and prep my okra. So I'll wash it, then grate it, then I'll also parboil it before I use it for the soup. But depending on the texture you want your soup to be, instead of grating, you can chop it, you can chop the okra or blend it if you prefer. Right after grating my okra, I'm going to go ahead and parboil my okra. So in my pan, I have enough water and then I'll add in a pinch of salt, pita or can we wait till the water boils and I'll add in my okra. So for my okra to draw very well, I'm going to whisk it till I get to the consistency that I want. Whisking invites more sliminess to the okra. And I'm also going to parboil it on a low heat to prevent it from overcooking before we use it for the soup. It is now time to put everything together. So in my pan, I'm adding in my palm oil, enough palm oil for the soup. Then I'll add in my fermented cured fish or momone. Wait till it fries very well or till I could perceive the smell. Then I'll add in my chopped onion. I'll then give it a very good stir, then I add in my blended onion and pepper. We are not adding tomatoes to the soup. If you want, you can add um, a small size of tomatoes, but to be on the safer side and to also maintain the sliminess in the okra, it is safe not to add any tomatoes at all. I'll then give it a very good stir and allow it to simmer. After it has simmered for about a minute, I'll then go ahead and add in my mixed spices. I have a video of how I made the mixed spices and I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can check it out at any time. I'll then give it a very good stir till everything is well mixed. Then allow it to simmer for about a minute again. Thank you. 
now for my seasoning i'll add in one stock cube and some adobo i'll then mix it till everything is well incorporated then i taste to know the amount of salt to add to the sauce After adding in the salt, I'll then go ahead and add in my shrimp powder. Give it a very good stir till everything is well incorporated. Then I'll add in the meat. And I'll also add in my crab which I've already parboiled. I'll then mix it till all the meat is covered and soaked with our sauce to also release its stock and also absorb some flavor from the sauce. I'll then cover it to simmer for about 2 minutes. After two minutes of simmering, I'll carefully add in my stock for my meat. So the consistency of your soup depends on the amount of water or stock you add to it. It is better to add in less water and later add in to get the consistency you want than adding in more that you wouldn't have any okra to add to your soup. Okay, I'll then give it a very good stir then cover it for it to simmer. Gradually we are the final part so I'm going to go ahead and add in my smoked mackerel, my okra and then my spinach. Remember I told you I was taking you to the Volta region of Ghana so I'm going to add in some leaves but I don't have boma so I'm replacing boma or eggplant leaf with spinach. I'll then give it a very good stir to make sure our okra and spinach are well drowned in the soup so it will be easy to cook. And I'll also leave it to simmer openly because I am not going to cover it again. I remember my mom telling me that when preparing okra soup, after adding the okra, you don't cover it again. Because when you do, it's going to cut the sliminess or the draw from the okra. Okay, well, I don't know how true that is because I haven't tried otherwise. And this method has always worked for us. So yeah. 
and i'll also leave it to cook for about two minutes and we are done that's it the soup is done if you overcook it it's going to also cut the sliminess and the draw from the soup all right So for more flavor, I'm going to add in my chopped onion and some red habanero pepper. If you have back prosciutto, kindly replace it with the red habanero pepper because me, I wish I had back prosciutto, but I can't have access to back prosciutto where I am right now. So yeah, that is it. We are done with our okra soup. And you know, I have taught you all the tricks to how I make my okra soup and to how to make it slimy and drawy okay so tell me why you haven't subscribed to my channel tell me why you haven't liked or commented or shared any of my videos yet but if you have done any of those things thank you so much for supporting this channel i am so grateful but if you haven't kindly subscribe like comment and share this recipe to your loved ones and friends out there let them also know of this amazing channel okay all right so till i see you next in my video always remember in a world where you can be anything be kind bye